Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. To respond to those two questions, Qissa. a story that we should begin with two questions, the first of which is, what is meant by arts? Scholars of aesthetics or beauty say that all human practices could be a form of arts and represent a form of arts. But what has made the conventional means such as poetry, music, and uh, painting, and uh, drawing represent arts is that man has absolute control over matter or material. The one who plants the earth or plants something is an artist, but he has no control over the heavens to rain or not, or for the produce to face a calamity or a disease. All that is beyond his control. So uh, the artistic work, a person should have absolute control over it and over matter or material. But in terms of why, these means and tools which are known as agreed upon means and methods of arts. Why? Uh, that is because they have something in common between all civilizations and all ideas. So the idea is that we can look at an architectural design or an oil painting or a piece of poetry, even if we were from outside the realm of that civilization or culture, we would still be able to say and judge whether this piece of art has been able to communicate and relay a message to mankind at large or to humanity at large or is it depleted of that power and influence? So what has happened in terms of arts makes us pose a question yet again. What kind of arts are we speaking about? There are two basic kinds of arts. There is art that is subjective, and there is art that's objective. Subjective, I mean subjective arts, uh, and the other one is objective arts. The first one that is subjective is inspired by what the person inner feelings dictate and seldom it is uh, confined with aesthetics or ethics outside the realms of the person's whims. So their purpose was to listen to what we can call to what the waswas 
uh, tells that person or the whispering. So that is indeed the art of a person who has given uh, an example and argued with Allah and then Allah replied to him saying, do not give examples challenging Allah because Allah knows what is within you and you do not know what is within Allah. So the creative tries to give an example and yadrib mathal through poetry or a piece of art or a piece of music, etc. The second, which is the objective arts, it is inspired by the creator of the self and the beginner of all creation thus it is subject it is dealing through an ethical point of view to know the rules of the creator in his creation and to follow those footsteps of the effects of the creation so it is indeed the art of realizing the limits and the borders which we call the power of limits. He said it in English. And the best example on this art is the art of Islam. And I say the art of Islam and not the Islamic art because there is a difference between both terms. The Islamic art is a terminology given by those who see Islam from the outside. However, the art of Islam is a term given by those from within Islam, those who realize what Islam is. And the purpose of that art is to reveal the Abrahamic or Ibrahimic truth. That is, do you worship that? which you sculpture and Allah has created you and that which you also make. So what is meant by this verse or ayah? If we contemplate this ayah or verse, you will find it really amazing. Ibrahim, peace be upon him, wants to say to his people, there is n no one there who knows that you has sculpture this statue, there is the one who knows that you have done that. And if this statue has any knowledge, then he will be the first to worship you. 